So you might be in a situation where for some reason you keep getting this iMessage activation or FaceTime activation errors. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though for the most part is making sure that with your time and date settings, your date and time settings, you want to make sure those are perfectly set up. Personally for me, for some reason this has been the issue like every single time I've done this because sometimes I do like customized date and time settings. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings. You want to click on your general settings, which is right here. You then want to go ahead and click on date and time, which is right here. So click there. And you either want to set it to automatically or you want to make sure that the time zone that you're in is properly set up to, you know, specifically where you're actually at. So if I'm in New York and I put my California time zone in, that's not going to work out. So I would probably just recommend setting it to automatically. Probably going to be the easiest way to do it. And that's probably what I'd recommend doing here. So that's basically the first thing. Now, if for some reason that doesn't seem to be working, you may just wanna go ahead and see exactly within your iMessage or your FaceTime account, you wanna make sure that you are basically on Wi-Fi as you're setting those things up. If you are not on Wi-Fi when you're doing that, for example, if you're like on a, if you're on a data connection, that's fine too, but as long as you have signal or data of some sort, you wanna make sure that's the case because if that's not the case, well, then that's basically going to be the problem here. So make sure that's the case make sure you can do that because that's another huge thing that you can basically do now if that's still not working you want to come back into your settings application right here you want to scroll down into your general settings once more we then want to go ahead and click on software update which is right here and all we want to do is go ahead and see if there is a software update available for our iphone for a lot of people out there this is probably another thing you can try doing and i think this may end up fixing it for a lot of you as well again it's not a guarantee but if you go ahead and go through down basically this direction, you might be able to go ahead and basically update your phone and that might end up fixing it. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone. That's another thing you can do. But most of the time, that's basically how you go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.